We produce a peat substitute from residues. This procedure has the potential for valorization of urban organic waste. Exact composition doesn't matter and seasonal variations are tolerated. It provides an alternative to the use of hydrochar as solid fuel and therewith it helps to mitigate climate change by carbon capture and storage and saving fossil fertilizers. It is very important to close the autoclave tile, otherwise composition may exchange during heating because of water loss and the reaction must be repeated with a fresh mixture. Don't care too much about the residual pressure after hydrothermal carbonization. Working with biomass, it is unpredictable. We observe both very low and very high residual pressures. The bed for the thermal treatment has to be thin. If it is too thick, preferential pathways can occur with good cost and heterogeneous treatment and produce unsuitable materials. To begin, select the biomass from kitchen leftovers such as fruit peels or inedible vegetable parts. Dry the sample of the biomass at 100 to 105 degrees Celsius in an oven for two hours or overnight. Weigh the dried sample. Calculate the suitable amounts of water and biomass for the reaction mixture. Have the reaction mixture volume half of the volume of the autoclave and the water content during hydrothermal carbonization as 85 weight percent. Assume that the density of the mixture is approximately 1 gram per milliliter. Introduce the biomass and water into the autoclave, which is provided with a rupture disc and set at a burst pressure of 50 bar. Close the autoclave and open the nitrogen...